Liverpool. What part of Liverpool yet? Um, it's classed as West Derby, um, West Derby area. But, um, so is this where you grew up? Yeah, grew up for an idea. Um, 20 years now. But, um, play football on there for all the lads and that. Um, yeah, amateur, old amateur gyms over the other side there. Not too far, so. Yeah. Bad. Here's the shops, there's the name. Um, That's handy, isn't it? Game of footy and kick the ball at the shutters now. <laughs> I'm gonna add here as a young. Well, was, it, was it a rough area growing up? Uh, no, not, not too rough. It was, uh, everyone was alright, everyone was all respected and that. And, you know, gets on with everyone that way. And not too bad. Everything was sad, but we all had uh, rough times and that, but just battled through it, you know what I mean? So was you more of a football person or a boxing person when you was really younger? That's football, when I was younger. Really football. Um, I had a few times, I was diving in Liverpool and that. Um, and then just took up the boxing. Just went, um, went over the gym one day with my dad. He had the go. And um, I just stuck to it. Ended up swerving the football and then just stuck to the boxing. Is it something your dad wanted you to do, or was it something that you sort of had a general interest in anyway? And yeah, you know, I, he just left it up to me what I wanted to do, but I just went over, seen him. He had the goal. We started late, had a few fights himself. Just got in there, thirty, and you know, I just took me over, and I just went to keep fit and that, and you know, had a few spars, enjoyed it, and then I just stuck at it. But I ended up getting a fight, winning it, and then I won like a good six, eight on the run, went to school, but isn't that so? And got picked to box for England and that, and then I was, um, you know, I was representing the country and that, and was, um, that's what I wanted to do. And I just stuck to it from then. So, since you won prize fight, are you happy with the way things have gone in your, in your career so far? Yeah, yeah, everything's been good, yeah, I'm happy. Um, it's been a busy year, it's uh, been a mad year, you know, and I needed that little time, a couple of weeks off, months off, just to get me, me, me body back to back to repair and get my mind back on it now and I'm hungry now for it to get back in there, just itching to get back in them. What, what are you looking to do now? What's, what's, what's the first, the next step you do? What's it? Um, become, no. You'd become a prize fighter champion within nine fights or within six fights then, wouldn't you? Three. Yeah, three, but I don't know, I'm just, um, I'm just, I'm just going to see what they've got for me. Next fight's going to be an eight rounder. Yeah. Um, and see what they've got for me. It's maybe get like the English title fight after this. Maybe an area title, maybe something just to. But, you know, I'm just going to keep my head down, keep just training whatever they put up front and, and just box them. Who, who, who do you admire in your weight category that currently fights now in the country? Yeah. Carl Froch, he's he's the he's the man now. When he had that super middleweight and so, you know, you know, he's I think he's like um he'd be gone the time by step up a bit, but I like Froch the way he is and not the way he boxes and that. Who who were like your, your boxing heroes when you was growing up? You know, who did you look up to be and aspire to be like? Yeah. I don't really know, I just, I didn't really, I just, when I was amateur, when I was amateur, the um, things of value and that were all pro then, and just, like Steve and stuff, and like, I was still the, uh, in the amateur game, so I was just watching them really, and like, looking look up to them, to, to them, they used to come in and spar me when I was in the ABAs and I'd come in and help me out sparring, all the time having hard spars, and I got the ABA final my first year, got beat by a good lad, so, all the sparring we'd be doing with him, we paid off and and Nike likes to know where he is now and, and, and you know, sparring him now would bring me on loads. So but for now now he's like Mayweather, he's like he's the main man for me. Like everything about him. He's boxing and everything, so he's me he's me hero to now like. I thought I was your hero. No. I thought I was your hero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So where are we now? Where are we now? We're in um, 
weer een weer een stag, weet je wel. Dus nou, dat is nou natuurlijk de neem dat je van een stagje vrouw. Oh, kijk, okay, kijk. Zo, dit is dus de boxing gym, ja, laat me gyms dus over hier. Nou, bij de flat, hè. Mijn naam en mijn taart naar al live aan hier. Zo, dit is dus. Dit is een. Wat kan je van? Die call it up. Dit is de neem, kan je van. Zo. Oh, is dat wat je little tweet in the other place, Stocky? Yeah, this is a Stocky bridge, so it's Stocky from Stocky, yeah. Stocky. Stocky, yeah. I didn't understand what you little tweet me the other day. I thought you were around... Yeah, this is it, yeah. Come on, you, you'll come on, but you might get off. There's only two ways to get on. The way we've come this way, you know. So if you block that what, end... Why that did end. you tell me that when we got in the car? What? <laughs> if you block that end, you block that end. You know, you're what, you're stuck in here? Stuck in here. There's only two ways. What's it, what's it like when you're out and about then? You're not obviously, when you're not fighting, you're out and about in the town. What's the, do you get good public reception? Yeah, yeah, brilliant. It's, you know, people, people still say, you know, you don't, you don't brilliant there, you do the weekend prize fights. It was like six, seven months yeah. ago, but. It doesn't seem like that long ago, but it was. Yeah, long yeah. Long but people, you're a good boxer, I'm following you and keep it up. Keep up, yeah, we keep your head down. Um, so yeah, everything gonna go out with our time or anyways, you know, get good feedback and get good, good reception of people and it's the city, it's a good city that you stick, stick with you and yeah. when you're down you pick it up so, you know, it's good. Who's, um, who's your best mates in boxing? Who's your closest friends? Obviously I know Derry Matthews is yeah. one of them. Yeah, yeah, Derry, since I was treated with a team, bro. Sorry? Yeah, uh, I'd say I'm pro when I spoke to Daddy, but that would say I'm pro, so Daddy is him, um, Matt and Murray. Um, still lads in the gym, Joe Selke, Songs, Bellevue, you know, we're all close and that. And Do you all spend a lot of time with each other outside the gym? Yeah, uh, uh, not as much, as, as not nearly. Uh, um, you know, we speak and that, we text and we phone, but you know, we go for something to eat and that, that's about it, I think that's it. But, you know, we're good, we're good mates. We're always there at the shows, and you know, it's every one of my fights that he's been at, been at man, picking me up, taking me to shows, and that, and yeah. sitting with me. So last night, um, you know, I was with him as well. Last night, he asked me to walk in the ring with him, and I so I was happy with him with that. Just the result went went the best. So, so, are we, are we, so I've driven back through. We're going through. Yeah, back through. Yeah. What is it called? Stock Bridge. Stock Bridge Village, yeah. Stock Bridge. Is this known as a rough part of Liverpool? Or? Yeah, this is the, this is the rough part. The this ghetto. Is, yeah, this is the ghetto. But you know, it's all. So good. I thought I'd, someone told me just wear an Adidas tracksuit, you'll blend right in. So yeah. that's see, you, see, a red yeah. one. Um, that's not too bad. Like you, get, you might get away with it on, on, on here, but you get away with it on this side over here. Do you not still wear shell suits? No, that's Daddy. That Daddy Wit still wears them. Does he really? Is, is yeah. that a joke? Does he really well, wear them? Well, yeah, he loves to run up five different ones. Because that's that's what you know. That's what when you think of that, Liverpool from like my probably the eighties and that was Adidas yeah. shell suits, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. What are you? No, you don't, you don't see them around much now. <laughs> Especially not on here. You don't on Carrie Farm. Do you, are you, do you still talk to a lot of people you grew up with that are not involved in boxing? Yeah. Still, yeah, still yeah. talk to them, yeah? Yeah. yeah I think it's important that, isn't it? So don't forget, obviously forget where, where you come from. Where you come from and where you started and everything. No. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, I still you know, still stop talking to people there, but it doesn't you no, know, I'm still one of the lads and still yeah. Still just, you know, go to the local pub, just think with the half fellas, play pool, darts with them and have an orange juice. Um, you know, that's it. That's still I forgot where I come from. But well, see we're not even that far, but that, this, this class is a different area. Yeah. West Derby is like the posh area. The, the people are posh know what I mean, but it's not really posh. Yeah. There is Nosley, Stockbridge Village, and it's, it's a road away. So, no difference. It's my old school up here, my old, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. My old junior school. It's all been done up now, like. And it's where I go and play, the social club, where I go and play my darts, the fair and feathers, and my... You play darts? Yeah. 
these your fans then, again, aren't they? Yeah, they've been, they walk, they walk <laughs> up and down, saying, aye, 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 walk fast, aye, so, but they, when I went to box, the neighbours put all the um, good luck, Rocky in the windows and that, and, cause every it's time, good, it? it's good for them to do here, isn't it, so obviously, yeah. where, you, where you're from, and, even though I've moved out, out of here, I still always leave from here to boxing shows, yeah. they always come home to here, see me mum first, Wait here, then get picked up and wherever a box of golf from here. Yeah. So I'll come and see people and like before I was, you know, with the kids are playing, I have games of games footy before I go with them and that and you know, keep my head off the like, off the box and just you know, take take them to the shop and that before I go. So I always leave from here and um, I'll, ne I'll never change that. Are you gonna be offended if I put subtitles on the bottom of the, the video? Like this video? Like, well, because a lot of people where we watch I film London, the cockneys, and they don't understand. Oh, I understand the way you talk, yeah. but they don't understand the way you talk. So I might have to every time you speak, I might have to translate what it is. <laughs> You're not going to be offended by that, surely? No, because no, no, a lot of our viewers are from London. We we, we got to play it right, you know. No I'm only joking. <laughs> I'm only joking. But um, <laughs> listen, thanks for that. Um, yeah. We're gonna go and catch up with some of the other boys now. This is really I film Liverpool this weekend. It's not yeah. really I film London at all. So, are you going to see now? Um, we're going to see Tony Bell. Yeah, Real players. Yeah. Well, I don't know. He's just he's probably sent me some random destination, like setting me out. Probably. So, he's a south ender, isn't he? I'm a north ender. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. So he's down here in by town and that, and you'll fit in with that down there. Yeah, that's why I wore it. Bright <laughs> red. I, I won't stand that too much. Six foot four. Dark skin, red tracks. So. Tony's brother. You all right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, Rocky. Listen, thank you very much. Um, listen, we'll be up here soon. Yeah. Um, you know, whenever you're fighting, you know, we'll always be yeah, here. We support thanks, you, yeah. obviously. Yeah, like sure, we support yeah. every British boxer. Yeah. Um, and uh, thanks for taking us around a little tour here. Yeah, thanks. Uh, all right. Good. Yeah. Nice one. So I look forward to seeing you in the ring. Any news? I must find out on Tuesday. He's going to let me know the part of the. Um, a date. So, you know, hopefully Feb, maybe March. I'm just, I've been saying now, taking over now and I'm ready to step it up a bit and get out there now and mm. get the rounds and get back fighting and winning. That's it. Thanks. Alright, this is uh, Coogan Cassis here in, uh, where are we? West Derby? Canny Farm. Canny Farm. <laughs> For I film Liverpool, thank you very much. Nice one, Rocky. Alright, uh, cool. Thanks, Lottie. I'm Rocky Feeling, you've been watching I film at Liverpool.